I rise today to urge my colleagues to pass a Department of Homeland Security funding bill without political strings attached. This funding is especially relevant to us New Yorkers who unfortunately understand too well the consequences of terrorism. Just yesterday, three ISIS supporters were arrested in Brooklyn for their plans to travel abroad to address to join the terrorist group. Without adequate homeland security funding, we might not have caught these terrorists. The Department of Homeland Security not only protects our borders and airports in ways we experience daily, but also works inconspicuously to guard our community by providing grants and training for law enforcement, transportation, and even local nonprofits. Currently, DHS is unable to allocate these hundreds of millions of dollars in grants that directly assist our communities and basic infrastructure. These address the unique planning, training, organization, and exercise needs of high-threat urban areas like New York City. It's reckless to use Homeland Security funding as a bargaining chip. A mere political disagreement is no excuse to risk an attack on American lives. Mr. Speaker, I ask unanimous consent that the House bring up H.R. 861, the Clean DHS Funding Bill that would keep the Department open so it can carry out its mission of keeping the American people safe. The gentlelady's time's expired.